Now, Texas sure has its fair share of roadside attractions, and some are, well, livelier than others. Travel the back roads long enough, and you might think you've seen it all. Then along comes something that will stop you dead in your tracks. I'd like to welcome you folks to the uh, National Museum of Funeral History. Uh, this is, of course, since we're in Texas, this is the world's largest museum of funeral artifacts. Perhaps the immortal words of Charlie Brown say it best, good grief. Museum director Chris Layton got used to that uneasy reaction a long time ago, but when it comes to his life's work, well, he makes no bones about it. I have to tell you, people come in here and they're sort of hesitant at first. And then they come in and they realize that it's not a morbid place at all. I always ask this question, what's the difference between a casket and a coffin? And once I tell you this, if you win any money on Jeopardy, you're going to owe me some of it. Chris gives a spirited tour that's obviously well rehearsed. It's not a place for the squeamish, but for the curious, there is an odd attraction. Seems there are things to be learned here that folks are just dying to know. And this is probably one of our favorite things we have here. We've got the world's largest collection of these. These are fantasy coffins. My personal favorite is this giant onion right here. Uh, <laughs> this, this was a woman who supported her family by growing vegetables and selling them in the marketplace. And when she died, her children buried her in a giant onion. It was probably the last thing she wanted, but it's exactly what she got. From coffins and caskets to antique hearses, you just never know what's formalda hiding around the next coroner. So stop by in the afternoon or even early in the morning. Either way, you'll make memories to last a lifetime. Our slogan is, any day above ground is a good one. You can get it on a t-shirt or a coffee mug. We have been able to, to preserve these things and present them in a way that the general public can come in and uh, you know, not be intimidated and actually look around and, and uh, spend a lot of time in here. You know, they tell you, well, the death rate is, is such and such a percent and death rate such and such a percent. Well, the reality is the death rate is 100 percent. And so this is just a way for people to see what it is we do and why we do it and how long we've been doing it.